Hey, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So as promised in my all Goku legendary Goku event video, we are back today to do it all over again with an all Vegeta team this time and show the Prince of All Saiyans the respect that he definitely deserves, but unfortunately does not get a lot of. All right, so here is the team we're bringing guys. We have my own LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta with a single dupe. We're also going with the Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, who has three dupes, not quite rainbowed, but close enough, and a two dupe transforming Vegeta. This Xeno Vegeta here does not have any dupes, unfortunately, but he is a defensive stacker, and he also is an amazing support unit for this category, so I do expect him to be very key in today's run. And if you guys don't know, this physical Gallic Gun Vegeta absolutely annihilates this event. He is going to clap Goku's cheeks, especially in the final stage versus uh, MUI Goku. It's gonna be really good. And you guys know this exchange of Vegeta and Trunks is amazing as well. Now I know technically Trunks isn't in here, but if you don't do the exchange, then it's only Vegeta, so it counts as just a Vegeta unit for this team. And we have this absolutely beautiful Rainbow Star 100% friend Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta who also has three dodge no less, so um, obviously a man of culture, whoever you are. So <laughs> there we go guys, that is the team. And the items we're bringing are the same as last time, I believe. Uh, Icarus, Whis, Princess Snake, and Android 8. And without further ado guys, let's jump in and see how well we can do. Now, uh, to be straight up, I have never used this team, at least in this exact composition for this event. So there is a chance that I could just die, but we're gonna try our best. We're gonna try our best. I feel like this team definitely has a really good chance of clearing it. And I'm gonna try to go a little bit faster than I did last time as well. So if you guys don't know, in my Goku's, like all Goku's, Goku's family uh, run, it took me about an hour to finish it. And I mean, like when I was filming the video, it felt kind of long, but I didn't realize exactly how long it had gone. And uh, after I finished, it was like, Clear time, 58 minutes. I was like, what is going on here? How did it take 58 minutes? And then I was editing the video and I realized that I just would not shut up in that video, guys. Like I just kept talking and talking about all these topics I had in my mind. But uh, today we're gonna try to keep that to a minimum. Obviously I'll still talk to you guys. I'll still do a little bit of rambling, but I wanna try to keep this video under 40 minutes if possible. Cause the other one was like almost an hour, like I said. And uh, the only reason it took that long, like it should not, it should not have taken that long with that team. It's just I had so many things to talk about in that video, right? So today, like I said, we're gonna we're gonna tone it down a little bit, but still, you know, there will be conversation. Don't worry about that. Um, we're gonna try to stack this Vegeta's defense as much as possible. Obviously, uh, believe it or not, the liability as far as defense goes on this team is definitely, or are definitely the two LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegetas, even though they're pretty good tanks. They don't stack defense. Yo, we're getting, we're actually getting hit really hard right now. I mean, we're gonna heal up a little bit later on when we get higher defense with the units and with the orbs and everything like that. And also Dolphin attacks, of course, but uh, you don't wanna be taking this much damage in the beginning. But anyways, um, the LR Super Saiyan 4, Vegeta, 4 Vegetas are actually really bad later on against the later stages like the Super Saiyan Blue Goku, the uh, UI Goku, the MUI Goku. They take so much damage even from normal attacks i think at least 30 to 40k from normals if you don't use items so we gotta be we gotta be very careful with them they're actually the ones we have to hide which is kind of counterintuitive because when you think of super saiyan 4 vegeta you kind of think of tanking right because that was kind of the agl vegeta's thing too like he was a pretty damn good tank um one of the better ones in the game for a long time but not so much the case um with this one i mean look at look like i said he's a good tank but not good enough he doesn't stack defense doesn't get like a ton of defense at any point so not good enough to actually make you feel safe in this event so be very careful with that uh, i am facing a little bit of a dilemma here because these three are all stackers i want them all to super but um we can't do that so i guess i'll have to take the str vegeta out of rotation here and let's actually let the xeno vegeta and the Gallic Gun Vegeta actually do some stacking as well because they're going to struggle a little bit more defensively I think than the Exchange Vegeta and Trunks which is crazy considering that one is the only one that's free to play. Alright, 560k attack stat, nothing crazy, 
but all we really need him for is the support and the defense later on. So it's not too big of a deal. And as you can see, the Gallic Gun Vegeta is already doing his damage, already going crazy. I love this unit, man. I mean, here's the thing. I I, I don't know if I said it in the beginning, but I, I literally just recently, um, recently Dokkan Awaken him because I never got the medals to awaken him before. And I only did it for this event, and people were telling me he was really good here, and I, I wasn't really sure if I believed them, and as it turns out, man, they were right. <laughs> he is absolutely amazing in this event. Alright, so we got the SSB transformation already. Um, I mean, his defense is already over 100k. Unfortunately, he doesn't actually increase defense anymore at this point. Only critical, right? Only critical chance and uh, lowers defense for the enemy, so... He, I mean, he, he's going to tank a little bit, but not too well. I'm a little bit worried about him. Um, hmm. Yeah, you know what? We're going to go with this. I'm just going to hope that we don't get supered at the end, and we should still be good to go. If we do get supered, we're probably not going to die, but we will be taking a good amount of damage. So fingers crossed, man. A lot of this stuff is RNG, right? Just like uh, Super Battle Road or anything like that. It's, it, a lot of it is dependent on RNG. I'm not saying that we are necessarily going to beat this attempt here, but we're going to put in our best effort. And that's all you can really ask for, man. Yo, we're getting an additional super here with the Super Saiyan Blue Evolution, Ve Evolution Vegeta. I need to say SSBE. Super Saiyan Blue Evolution is way too long to say every time. But if you guys didn't notice or didn't watch that video I put out, um, they actually updated the assets for the animations for SSBE specifically. So, if you compare the old animations to the new one, the new one looks so much cleaner and so much crisper, and I hope they start doing that with more units as well in the game. Okay, so, for normals, we're doing well. We didn't get supered. That's perfect. But if we did get supered, that could have been a little ugly. That definitely could have been a little bit ugly. Alright, so, you know Vegeta's at 67k now. Um, I think because of the type of advantage, we can probably still tank these attacks pretty well, so... Leave him in the beginning there. Um, hopefully, we'll get a chance to super with the Gallic Gun Vegeta as well. And let's give these to the friend Vegeta here. I'm obviously going to be saving the active skill for either the final stage or the second last stage, depending on if I struggle or not. As you can see, guys, tanking very well here. Uh, his defense should be at around 70 to 80k now. And this Gallic Gun Vegeta has over 2 million attack already. And we are critting for 1.6 mil. Yeah, yo, if you haven't been using this Vegeta on the Super or the Legendary Goku event or the Fighting Legend Goku event, whatever you want to call it, um, give it a shot, man. Give it a shot. Trust me, he's going to do good things for you. Okay, um, I think, yeah, having Transforming Vegeta there makes the most sense. He's building up that defense quite nicely. And uh, yeah, we'll just give him one orb here. And how do I not waste all these orbs? Is there a way? I don't think so. I guess I could just give him these rainbow orbs then. All right, there we go. The run is going pretty well. I think a lot faster than before. We are getting supered. Uh, under 100k, 76k. Totally, totally doable. That's totally fine. Uh, as long as we're not getting supered for like two to 300k, I'm not too concerned. Those will come. Those supers will definitely come. But for now, we're doing good, and we're also getting additional with the Transforming Vegeta, which is definitely something you want since this guy stops building defense after he goes blue, just like the uh, Transforming Goku. Actually, I probably could have reversed... No, I couldn't reverse this Vegeta. I was like, maybe I could reverse the Vegeta to have him stack infinitely, but if I reverse the Vegeta... Actually, I don't even know if he stacks infinitely in his pre-awakened form, but assuming he's like the Transforming Goku, I could reverse him, but if I reverse him, then I can't bring the Gallic Gun Vegeta, which is not a good thing. Obviously, you want to bring the Gallic Gun Vegeta. He absolutely destroys Goku here, so... Uh, yeah, no, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. And anyways, anyways. Um, okay, so here's the issue. We got LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, who I want to take out of rotation, but there's two attacks at the end, which very much concern me. But, but... Um, at the same time, we just got supered by the Super Saiyan 3 Goku, so I feel like there's not a very high chance we'll get supered again. That being said, it could definitely happen. Uh, I'm not going to item here though, because I don't want to. That's the main thing. I, I want to save those items uh, for as late as possible into the game, so we're just going to, once again, cross our fingers, 
Hopefully we don't get supered, even if we do, we're most likely still gonna survive. Actually looks like we're probably gonna finish it off here with Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta if he crits. There's a 28% chance he will land a crit here. If he crits, then we're moving on. If he doesn't crit, then we're gonna get hit, but we're double digits once again. That's amazing. All right, I'm, I'm actually curious to see how much defense he has now, man. It's been a while since I've, I've gotten him to attack so many times. Uh, 206k, not too shabby, man, not too shabby. All right, so why don't we move this guy here, give this to the exchange Vegeta. Um, let's see, to make those physical orbs drop. I mean, if we give this one to Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, there we go. So we're still supering with the Super Saiyan God Vegeta right now. Uh, I'm just a little bit worried, honestly, about that middle slot right there. As long as we don't get super there, it should be fine. I think I feel like I've said that phrase a lot. Like, let's let's just hope we don't get super. Please don't super me. All right, here we go. Oh, damn, damn! He just killed him. <laughs> Wait, so that means I missed out on a super from the transforming Vegeta. That is unfortunate. That is very unfortunate, especially considering how hard I thought about that rotation. Man, such a waste of time. Okay, so um, the one we're concerned about here is definitely the Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. Um, so I'm going to put the Xeno Vegeta, Vegeta here to tank. And you know what? Evolution Vegeta can probably handle himself still with 124k defense. So no items once again. No items. I mean, could item? I don't want to. Yeah, I, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. Here we go. And we'll close the Dokkan attack too. Alright, so we're building up that defense with the Xeno Vegeta. I kept the um, Gallic Gun Vegeta in rotation too because I want him to keep building defense. And we're pushing the Evolution Vegeta out of rotation because he doesn't get extra defense anymore. So we don't need him to come back every single turn. But there are two attacks at the end and we still haven't gone super yet. So let's hope it's not there. <laughs> let's hope it's not there. That would be one of the worst spots to get super right now. We are getting a lot of crits though. This guy is, I think he actually maxed out on crit at this point. Oh, look at that. So clean, man. So damn clean, that animation. All right, 1.4K and we're not getting super. That is beautiful. That is absolutely glorious. Um. Okay, so I'm thinking, I mean, I could, you know what, let's Dokkan attack with the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta friend who is rainbowed once again and heal up a little bit here with that orb and heal up a little bit with these orbs as well. Not too bad, not too bad. Alright, let's focus. I've been missing a lot of these Dokkan attack nodes recently, so let's try to get the perfect 7 for 7 here. There we go. Alright, nice. Maybe just finish off Super Saiyan God Goku, man. This rotation, this, this fight always gives me some trouble because of the, the Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta on the team. All right, come on, give me a crit. Give me a crit. Let's go. All right, two million, no crit. Oh, we should be okay. We should be okay. Come on. Lots of attacks at the end. Okay, we're getting super in the middle. That is actually the much more preferred spot to get supered. 136k, not too bad. That's not too bad. I know it seems bad right now. I know we're very low on HP at the moment, but I'm actually not concerned. I'm not concerned at all. I might item though. I'm, mm, actually, it depends on how much we heal up by. Let's see, let's see. How much do we heal up here? Such a nice animation too. I, I love the the final transformation for all the transforming units, like the Vegeta, the the Goku, the Frieza. So nice. All right. Um. Man, I mean, we could, we could definitely attack with the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. But I also want to get more defense for the Gallic Gun Vegeta. So you know what I'm gonna do. I'm actually going to not give him the orbs. I know it sucks. I know it's very much disrespect. But 
Nah, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. Okay, so take all those orbs. We're still gonna heal up, heal back to full, like no matter what we do. Um, you can take those, and we'll still give him a good amount of orbs right there. But I think the Gallic Gun Vegeta is gonna finish off anyway, so it doesn't really matter how much we gave the other guys. Alright, 2.1 mil. Hit me with another crit right there. It's gonna be a crit. It's not a crit, but he's dead. Okay, nice. Alright, two more. Is that three? No, two. No, three more stages. Three more stages. We're making good time. At least a lot better than last time. Um, definitely trying to keep the talking to a minimum. Let's see. Alright, we're gonna put this guy at the back. Uh, put this guy here. And we should be okay. We should be okay. Can we get the Ultra Super? I think we can. There we go. Man, I love the Super Saiyan 4s and the whole key thing, man. They get so much damn key. Like, you literally give them, like, three. Like, if you give Super Saiyan 4 Goku three AGL orbs, that's a 24 key super, basically. Or you give Vegeta three STR orbs, and you're good to go, man. And the Rainbow orbs give a ton of key as well. They're just very well-designed cards. Very, very well-made cards, man. Although, one interesting thing, I don't know if you guys, like, saw the video where I talked about it, but apparently, according to, I think it's Team Dokener, he was saying how originally when Bandai or Akatsuki was making the LR Super Saiyan 4 cards, they had a completely different plan for their passives where Goku would only have 80% attack and not get any defense. You know how right now he builds defense up to 80% over time every turn, right? Um, and for Vegeta, he would only have defense and no attack. That was the original plan and they actually ended up changing it last minute because they realized that was ridiculous, right? Like, that was just the dumbest idea ever. So, obviously, I'm very glad they made that change. And I'm sure uh, you guys, if you didn't know about it, are now very happy that they decided to do that last minute, right? But there was a scenario where we could have... Oh my god, we're getting supered. Okay. Um, this, this could be bad. Um, This could be 244k. Okay. Not terrible. Not terrible. Um... What was I saying? Going back to what I was saying. <laughs> Man, that was so much damage. Um, there was a scenario where the anniversary units we got could have had no other passive aside from 80% to either just attack or just defense. And that would have been a bad time. So, yeah, I mean, I I I'm counting my blessings. Definitely uh, feeling blessed that that happened. And now these are two of my favorite units in the entire game, guys. No question. The LR Super Saiyan 4s are just so damn good and as much as I complain about the shafts and everything like that I'm very thankful man that I was able to pull two copies of each of them and get a dupe in each and I use them as much as I possibly can that's why I keep doing these videos where I do like all Goku or all Vegeta teams and the only way it's possible is because I have these guys right okay I'm gonna stop I'm gonna stop I'm getting too excited getting way way too excited um what should we do here so there's two attacks at the beginning, but there's three attacks at the end. So we'll put the tank here. We'll put the tank here, transforming Vegeta there. And, uh, oh, 237k defense already. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. There we go. Let's try to finish this up within the next two turns. And then move on to the real challenge of this event, which is, of course, the UIs, the STR UI Goku, and then the Master UI Goku at the very end. But at that point... The Transforming Vegeta and the Gallic Gun Vegeta are going to do a lot of work, so it shouldn't even be that bad. The hardest one should actually be the next stage with the STR guy, since we're going to have type disadvantage with two of our hardest hitters on this team. Alright, here we go. 200k additional, why couldn't it be a super? Did you guys know that additional attacks actually are apparently a 50% chance to be a... Uh, super attack from what I've heard like when you get an additional it's 50% regular 50% super which is pretty good I thought it was lower than that I mean just based on my experience it feels like it's lower than that but I mean I guess it would make sense I uh, people generally only remember the good things that happen right so that probably explains why I don't remember getting as many additional supers but apparently from what I've heard it is 50 50 it is a 50 50 percent chance Damn, dude, the, the friend uh, Vegeta actually has pretty damn solid defense right now. So I think I think it's okay to put him at the end there. I think it's actually pretty safe to put him at the end there. 
All right, I'm gonna try to heal up more with the same type orbs. And uh, we're getting off a very nice 24k super here with the LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta as well. Tanking very well. We're up to 2.2 million attack now with the Gallic Gun Vegeta. Ah, oh, so nice. And an additional. Not a super, but a nice additional nonetheless. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this, he does stack attack as well as defense every single time he supers, which is also why he's so good. But he also gets an additional boost against Goku type enemies, and since this entire event is Goku types, he's just he's just great. He's just amazing here. Alright, give me a crit, friend. Come on. <sighs> additional? And you have to get supered. Alright. Alright, we're almost at 200k defense. So, 30, 31k, damn. Okay, that... Did not hurt nearly as much as I thought it would. Did not hurt nearly as much as I thought that was going to. Okay, um, you take that. You take that. And take the SDR orbs right there. Perfect. So this should do it. I think the Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta with those crits um, should finish off this fight. And then we're moving on to the final two stages, guys. The, one, the ones that I'm definitely more concerned about than anything else especially the next one but i think we got this man we haven't used a single that's a lie <laughs> we've used one item we've used the aider but we still have seven items left at this point and we're making good progress this video is uh, looking like it's gonna be around 40 45 minutes but <laughs> not nearly as bad as it could have been all right 135k you know what, I think I might have to use something here. Let's actually pop the Icarus, man. I don't feel safe. I don't feel safe about all those attacks on the Gallic Gun Vegeta. Um, I mean, is, it, is it four attacks in the middle too? Yes, yeah, four attacks in the middle, so it doesn't really matter where we put him. Uh, let's just let's just be safe. It's, be, it's better to be safe than sorry. Better to be safe than sorry. Alrighty. There we go. That's a lot of orbs. He should be doing some good damage there if we get the crit. See, look at that, even, even with an Icarus, it's 5.2k, right, with normal attacks. So imagine how much a super is going to be doing here. I don't want to imagine it, but it could happen. Alright, so with the one extra super, we're now taking regular, okay. Uh, or taking <laughs> double digit, is what I'm trying to say. That, that super did 100k, but, yo, if I did an item there, we might have died. We could have definitely died there, so I feel pretty good about a decision to item. Definitely, definitely not regretting that Icarus right there. Alright, Vegeta, give me a crit, man. Come on. Come on. <sighs> Dude. Alright, um... So for this rotation... Let's go with that. Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna heal up a little bit. And, uh, let's see... I want to save those STR orbs for Vegeta, actually. Or Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Um, they're all Vegeta, of course. So I'll give him that one, and we'll heal up a good amount with those orbs too. About 20 to 30k. Not too shabby. Taking normal hits for double digits. Let's see how much this guy does here. He's definitely going to be our savior here. Come on. Give me a crit. Give me two additionals, and then give me another crit after that. Alright, 1.1 mil. Beautiful. The more crits along the way. This guy should have like a 70% chance to crit now. Um, at max level, like max max stacking of the crit chance. So yeah, okay, looking pretty good, guys. You gotta use this, but you gotta you gotta try this Vegeta team if you haven't yet. I, I know like most of the focus is on the Goku's, but you gotta give Vegeta the respect, man. He deserves, as I said at the beginning of this video. What should we do here? Yeah, I mean, physical Vegeta is up to. 145k now for defense, but it's still a concern if we get supered. And with all those attacks, I think at least one of them is going to be a super. So I'm gonna I'm gonna play it safe. I'm gonna go with the Princess Snake here. I know using three items before the final stage is definitely not ideal, but if you think about it, because of the the you know great physical Vegetas we have here. Um, the final stage should be actually easier than this one, so I think I think it's a good idea to use a few more items here just to ensure that we don't die, and we could just like straight up not get supered here, 
which would feel like a bit of a waste, but at the very least, man, you, you never know with these things. You never know. Like, RNG is is not kind sometimes. Like, just watch. We're gonna get super at the end. And if we get super at the end, then I'm gonna be very happy I popped that Princess Snake, because as much defense as this Vegeta has, it's not enough. He doesn't stack it. And of course, we're not getting supered on this rotation. Okay, can you please super my Super Saiyan Blue Evolution then? If you're not gonna super the Super Saiyan 4, please super this guy. All right, take that one, and can we super? We can still super with him too. All right, let's hope this is the final rotation for this fight, and we can just move on to the MUI. Um, okay, put one mil, two more additionals, and then potentially another super. Please? Come on? Damn. As much as I like this crit thing with Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, man, I still wish he would keep stacking defense, to be honest. Because the defense stack is way more useful, in my opinion, than having a higher crit chance. Don't get me wrong, I love the higher crit chance. I would definitely prefer... I would definitely prefer defense, though. Ah, man, still not low enough to for me to feel safe. Oh, although... Although... Hmm... We can definitely hide the physical Vegeta in the middle. But is the friend Vegeta, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, gonna get supered is the question. But if he does... We should still be... We should still be okay. Because it, it is a rainbow Vegeta, and he has quite a bit higher defense than my own Vegeta. Hmm. I mean, it's too late now. We already, we already went for the rotation, right? We, still, we already went for the orbs. We can't really reset at this point. So, there's not much I can do about it, man. All right, 3.3 mil. Come on, give me a crit. Give me a crit. I think it, a crit is over. Like, crit would end this right now. Come on. All right. Double digits. Double digits, beautiful, no super, beautiful. Ah, oh, dude, that's some great luck right there. That's some great luck right there. Uh, should I actually put this guy here? I think I think I can soundly put this guy here. 215k defense, not too shabby. All right, is this gonna be a mistake? Oh, you know what? I forgot I had the Dokkan attack going. Let's let's yeah, let's reset this. We should Dokkan attack with the Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. Okay, we back out here. Let's put the SSBE Vegeta at the beginning so we can get that Dokkan attack off. Makes It just makes a lot more sense. And he can also super right there. Perfect. All right, give me your best shot, man. Give me your best shot. 4.1K, I mean, it, it's damage. It's damage, but not enough to concern me. All right, this Dokkan attack should make it a day for the UI Goku here. Alright, all seven. You know what, Bandai's being nice to me today. They're being nice to me today. They're making it extra slow. As we can get all those nodes and not embarrass myself like last time. And come on, do it, Vegeta. Just finish it. There we go. Oh, glorious. And of course, additionals. One more. Dodge that. One more, all right, no more, all right, but it's actually a good thing, because then we can stack more defense now with the exchange Vegeta. This will finish it. There we go. All right, moving on to MUI, guys. The final countdown, the final stage. This is uh, where it all ends, and I will actually, I mean, I'm not gonna take any of the physical Vegetas out of rotation, so I'm gonna take this guy out of rotation. Uh, as you can see, the Xeno Vegeta already has 192,000 defense, um, which is just amazing. And we can't get a ton of orbs. Oh, we can't get a ton of orbs for the Vegeta, the physical Vegeta, but... I mean, he'll still do good damage. Still do good damage regardless. Right, you take that, and you take that. No items. Risking it a little bit. I think we can definitely afford to no item here because of how tanky these Vegetas are. Next rotation, definitely will item. Uh, probably go with, with a waste or something like that. I do like to keep damage reduction up at almost all times when it comes to this final stage because of how hard his supers hit. We're getting the additional too, and we're not getting dodged. Good RNG at the moment. We just need some crits now. 
There we go. We call for the crit, we get the crit. Alright. This is going well. 2.5 mil from Gallic Gun Vegeta. Give me a crit. Hmm, no crit, but... Oh, an additional. Okay. Yo, what did I tell you guys? What did I tell you guys about this specific Vegeta? Clapping physical UI Goku's cheeks, man. He's doing it right now. Yo, I was not lying, right? I was not lying about that. And we're tanking really well with the Xeno Vegeta too. Uh, this rotation is definitely... Uh, definitely deserving of an item. Let's go for the Icarus first before we use the Weezes. Um, and why don't we actually pop the active skill here? Get some extra damage in. It does have level, this friend one does have level 20 crit, so 40% chance for a crit here. Come on. There we go, 1.5 mil? Not too shabby. Nothing crazy. Now, if you guys didn't see that video I posted yesterday, very, very interesting video about how um, the super attack style active skills actually boost your chance of getting an additional attack that turn. It's not like guaranteed additional or anything like that, but apparently, just based on a bunch of tests that a Reddit user did, and I think they're a fairly respected member of the subreddit community and all that stuff, so I definitely trust them. And what they said is on the turn that you use the super attack active skills like the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta or the Super Saiyan 4 Goku and so on and so forth, um, the units have a quite a bit boosted chance of an additional additional attack, right? And for Vegeta, it'd be something like, as opposed to 12% uh, chance, as, as opposed to a 12% chance um, with just the regular hidden potential level, it becomes like 22% or something like that. But it's actually different for this specific Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta because this one only has level 3 additional, so it might still not happen. We'll see. We'll see. Alright, no additional. Like I said, only level 3 chance, but it was higher than normal. Alright? <laughs> it was higher than normal. Okay. We're gonna pop my own LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta's active skill 2. There we go and hopefully get an additional this time. Once again though, he only has level three additional, so I wouldn't expect too much, but it could happen. It could happen. We're getting crits back to back though with these active skills. That's what I like to see, man. That's what I really like to see. Um, I'm gonna heal up here with the Android 8. We're not really going for a no item run, so I don't really care about what anybody says. I'm gonna use items if I feel like using items <laughs> all right beautiful super attack ultra super with the super saiyan 4 vegeta and we're getting 2.2 mil with the transforming give me another crit come on i know you want to crit i know you want to crit. okay that's fine that's fine let's see what this the the saiyan saga vegeta is up to 2.5 mil no no uh support though this time oh my god are you serious man Okay, that's fine. We're getting supered, I don't really care though, because it's freaking Scouter Vegeta. No, did I say Scouter Vegeta? I meant Saiyan Saga Vegeta. 95 damage though. 95 damage on the super. And we're not using damage reduction items, we're just using a defense boost, 50% defense with the um, Android 8. And look at the results, man. Look at look at all these defenses. The lowest defense we have here is 100 and 100,221. And then after that, um, I mean, there's the friend Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta that has a bit higher. But then the 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 lowest after that is the SSBE Vegeta with 186k. And then there is the Transforming Vegeta with 191k. The Gallic Gun Vegeta with 296k. The uh, Exchange Vegeta with 424k. And the Xeno Vegeta with 312k. So extremely, extremely tanky team right here. I'm not even really that concerned about iteming here. I mean, maybe... No, I don't need to. I don't need to. No, screw it. We're fine. I think the Xeno Vegeta is going to handle all those attacks at the end. Even a super will only do probably... 20k to us at most, maybe? Maybe less? <sighs> of course. Of course, gonna be dodging these attacks. I don't dodge this one, though. <sighs> Are you serious? 
This man only has a 20% chance to dodge. Watch, he's gonna dodge the super now. Those those two regulars hit, those two normal attacks hit. What did I tell you? What did I tell you, man? This man is such a troll. Let's us connect on the regular attacks, the normal attacks, and then for all supers, dodges every single one of them. All right, see, we're getting super here. Not concerned. I'm guessing like 10, 20k at most. Maybe even less. Okay, I lied. <laughs> I mean, it's still under 100k, right? So it's not like I was off by that much, but yeah, that was uh, that was that was higher than expected. I'm I'm not gonna lie, that was higher than expected. I'm gonna pop a Whis here. Um, not not because the physical Vegetas are concerning me at all, but the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta is definitely worrying me with those two attacks at the end, since he can't really take much of a hit. Um, at this stage, so yeah, better, better safe than sorry, guys. Better safe than sorry. But I will promise, you know what? I'm gonna say this right now. We're not gonna use all the items. All right, we're gonna use seven items at most. <laughs> I'm gonna save at least one item, so it's not like we used all eight of the items. Now, please connect here. Ah, oh, yes. Perfect. 1.4. Even the regular additional attack is at 1.3 million attack now. <laughs> Oh my god. Alright, come on. Give me a crit. Give me a crit. Alright, that's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, so if all things... If things go according to plan... If things go according to plan... This should be the last rotation. If those Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta attacks connect, then we're good to go. Alright? If not, then next rotation is going to be good to go. Either way, man, this has been a lot smoother of a run than I expected. Like, actually smoother than the all Goku team. Like, realistically, I think this has been easier than using that all Goku team I brought last time. There we go. That's it. That's it. That, that is the run, guys. Yo, all Vegeta team absolutely slaps this legendary Goku event. Hey, okay, I mean... I guess some people are going to be like, yo, but use items, yo, you should have no-itemed it. I, maybe I could have, but I wanted to be extra safe, so I didn't go for that. Uh, 40 minutes and 11 seconds was the clear time. Um, I think a lot of that was just me, like, thinking, too. You could probably do it with in, like, 30 minutes, maybe 35, something like that. And, oh, let me show you the details real quick. So that is the team once again. Those are the items used. We saved a Princess Snake and a Whis, so six out of eight items used. And, uh, yeah, not a terrible clear time. Still kind of slow, but... It's not bad. And FUG, thank you so much for the assist. I think my list is full. Yes, it is. But you know what? I won't forget you, man. I appreciate the uh, the help you gave me. So <laughs> there you go, guys. That is the legendary Goku event crushed with an all Vegeta. Vegeta's family team. And you know what, man? We gave this prince the respect he deserves. I absolutely love running Vegeta's family, honestly probably more than Goku's family, so I'm glad it did so well here, and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys were able to do the same by yourselves, or uh, maybe you've been struggling with this event in the past, and still need some more clears for those stones and stuff like that, then give it a shot, man. Give this team a shot, but at least as many of the parts as you possibly can that you have, and let me know how it goes, all right? So that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Hope you enjoyed the showcase. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.